I mean, we could we could work on a cookie dough. I've got some ideas. Um, you always get like pretty close, but it doesn't quite come through. Are you talking like a chocolate chip cookie dough, straight up? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Beautiful. I had a juice that was perfect cookie dough, and anything less than that, it just it's just not even close. You know. The wonder flavors, uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate cookie crust. Yeah. Yeah, the chocolate's got to be really light because it's not really a. Ch- there's really not much chocolate in it. It's really about like that flour flavor. Yeah, you could use it. You probably use the chocolate cookie crust for that. Didn't you use uh, flavora milk, and you thought it did something when you did a mix with that, Wayne? Yeah, I don't know if it was. Let me see. I did a cookie dough on live mixing, and it was the closest that I've gotten. It was really close. Uh, bread, bread pudding. Yeah, bread pudding, favor cookie, favor milk. Yeah, that was the closest I've gotten. Favor cookie definitely needs to be in there some way. What about that um, Oreo cookie? Ooh, there we go. Oh, yeah, Oreo nice. cookie, something that you were talking about, Skip. Oh, yeah, I'm down for that. Milkshake. I got okay. the real flavors. Uh, yeah. Deep fried awesome. cookies and cream. Yeah. I've had, I've tried the I've I've smelled the cookies and cream and it doesn't smell nearly as Oreo. What else, Liquid Barn? Um, I like I just like Liquid Barn's vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. I just fucking love it. Like a lot of that. No, a I lot of the say, cookies yeah. and cream and a little bit of the. Oh, okay. Because the, the Liquid Barn, it's got a lot of dap in it, so it it mm. it mutes the other flavors. You got to go like I'm thinking like probably five or six with the fucking cookies and cream holy shit wait is that super concentrate yeah um and and shindo shindo gave me a tip because he played around with it and he said you have to like break that flavor so i'm thinking five or six percent would be in the break category because i tried it three percent and it didn't do much most of their flavors is like five percent yeah i i find their flavors really weak i would definitely say flavor west cookies and cream it's like a perfect cookies and cream, like the the cream part. Okay. See, I was using um, what uh, TFA sprinkles, I think it is. Yeah, that little plastic, add that yeah. plastic flavor. Yeah, to, to throw a little bit of plastic in there, and then vanilla cream extra. What the fuck is vanilla cream extra? Well, I would say vanilla buttercream frosting would be better. You think? Just because it's got yeah, like wax. oily, waxy stuff going on. What's the oh. flavor again? Uh, like a like a Oreo milkshake. Yeah, maybe buttercream frosting, flavor West cookies and cream. You could use the the real flavors one, but I don't really like that one that much. It smells phenomenal. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's not strong. Yeah. You talk mm. for, for the chocolate mm. cream part for the chocolate part, right? Just both parts. Are you talking about the the O's cookie? What? No. That's deep fried. Right? Deep fried. Deep fried cookie cookies you. and cream from Real Flavors. Give that a whiff and tell me that isn't straight Oreo. What about the uh, chocolate mm. cookie? Flavor cookies? West. Flavor West. You want Flavor West cookies and cream instead? Yeah. That's what this, I would say. This, you're it's talking about one. Real Flavors. I don't. I don't. It smells. It smells exactly like it, but it's just not strong. Like Flavor West is pretty strong, so you're gonna get like that nice, cakey, creamy middle, but there's really no chocolate in it. And if we're but we're using the vanilla buttercream, which can do that filling. Yeah, and um, I mean TFA sprinkles is what I is what I use, the, and it it gave a really good I mean, uh, Flavor West sprinkles. Flavor West sprinkles. That's it. Yeah, it gives it gives like a very. You know how it's not quite cream filling in fucking Oreos? It's kind of like mashed up sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it gives it that texture. Yeah, it gives it gives it a good amount of texture. What are you using? What about Oba Oba though? What about yet- what about Oba Oba? I Oba Oba plus buttercream? That's gotta be close. I've never really fucked around with Oba Oba. It's the I same thing. It, it makes things seem like candy or like it's just a really weird additive. Like like Max was saying, which uh, from trying it today, I see that if you add it to a cream, it's going to make it seem like a thick sort of mashed sprinkle cream. Like it adds that texture. Um, 
could try it. I use that really more for fruits though. I've I've only ever I've I've only ever seen Oba Oba in like fruits or like fruity candies or tart. It doesn't have any fruit to it though, so I see it working. Yeah. The flavor itself is kind of nothing. Yeah. Um it, it, it should go with chocolate, right? I mean I don't, I don't know about that. if we were using like I don't know. No I was saying he added it to yeah. some chocolate recipe and it made it six lits, which is the worst chocolate of all time. It yeah. really, dude, Sorry, chocolate malt balls. I don't understand how <laughs> people yeah. enjoy that shit. My like wop, whoppers? Like whoppers. <laughs> dude, they're delicious. <laughs> no. You're, guy? you're hey, a yeah. fucking I love whoppers. That's the guy keeping You're on. a fucking degenerate, Wayne. You, li- you suck the chocolate off of the ball and then you let the malt melt in your mouth. Balls. Dude, I knew, I, I knew, I knew I when I met that. you that I felt <laughs> skeezed out, and now I, I just, know yeah. why. Fucking... I could go for some whoppers right about now, actually. <laughs> yeah, you look like you could go for a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> you suck it off the ball, and then you let it melt in your mouth. Um, so we have the liquid barn, vanilla ice cream, the real flavors, cookies and cream, but buttercream frosting, and oba oba. Uh, which which buttercream frosting? Capella. 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 Capella's frostings are fucking stupid waxy. Cat buttercream frosting, mm-hmm. real flavors deep fried Oreo, liquid barn vanilla ice cream. One I think it needs a, a backup cookie. That's what I'm feeling. Because real flavors in general seem to be thin. So if we can fill out the Oreo. I'd probably go with the F.A. cookie. F.A. cookie, solid. Because solid cap, cap, cap sugar cookie is a bit too prominent and too soft. You want to go Whereas to F.A. Cookie's got that, no, F.A. Cookie's got that crunch to it. Yeah, F.A. Cookie is absolutely the right choice if you're going for an yeah. Oreo. All right, so let's, let's recap. What, what's, the, what's the milkshake part going to be? Liquid barn vanilla ice cream, yeah. I'd go Flavor West yogurt. With why, Flavor why West not? yogurt or just Flavor West yogurt? Just Flavor West yogurt. For the ice cream? Really? Absolutely agree with that. Liquid Barn's like eggy. Dude, I love their vanilla. It's like ice buttery cream. and eggy. Yeah, I feel like there's like a, a large spectrum before you end up at flavor West yogurt. Though you could use like FA vanilla gelato. So what my experience is has always been going to Cold Stone, right, and getting an Oreo milkshake with uh, the sw- what I don't know if it's the sweet cream ice cream. I can't remember. I think I go with the the birthday cake flavored ice cream. And it fucking bangs. And the vanilla ice cream is what the smell that reminds me the most of it. But the liquid barn? Uh, no, the, the liquid barn reminds me the most of that cold stone shake that I get. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, it's definitely delicious. But I feel like it's a little too eggy and buttery. I feel like we should bring back sweet cream. No one's okay. been using sweet cream since like fucking 2015. Yeah, yogurt and sweet cream, man. Vanilla swirl does. Probably go cap Flavor or sweet cream. Cream. Have you tried vape? But trims? I haven't tried vape trims now. Dude, it's fucking unbelievable. It's like uh, it's, it's a, probably the best. Or Flavor West sweet best. cream. What the fuck? I have, I think Flavor I have. West sweet cream is the right call here for sure. With their yogurt. So sweet. Yeah, with their yogurt. It's Hell a yeah. lot of dap though. Yeah, it's it is. Cheap. It's pretty. It bad. might get oily. It might get a little oily. Especially with uh, you could try fried cookies and cream. That is probably going to get really oily. Yeah. Um, and then Flavor West yogurt. And that should do it. So let's talk about the cookie base again. Real what flavors, deep fried cookies and cream. That's Oreo. Yeah, I would do a batch with that just to see how it goes. My, my experience with that flavor is that it's just too weak. Have you that's, tried like breaking it like Skittles was saying? I wonder if it's like 4 or 5% with it. Yeah, that's why I'm going to be higher. That's all. So let's let's fucking let's fucking pump these numbers up six six to seven. Fucking break the sound barrier with it. All right, <laughs> and then cap buttercream to help do a little bit of the filling and augment the. I don't even think you need that. You don't think we'll need no, that? No, not with the no, not with the sweet cream and yogurt. There's so much dap already. Yeah. In it. Okay. We don't need that. Yeah. Fa cookie. Maybe the sprinkles if we need like a waxiness or shisha vanilla. Or shisha vanilla or the oba. Something that's, to kind of add. Something like that, yeah. yeah. We'll do shisha vanilla. Um, I'm thinking like half <laughs> a percent question? FA cookie. Because FA cookie can take over a mix. It, it, it does have a lot of... Um, AP. AP, yeah, whatever. Well, um, what else could you right use that. that would kind of give a grainy... Like, wouldn't lava cake, flavor, Liquid Barn's lava cake might work in there? Or chocolate brownie by Capella. 
It's like super low. Absolutely, it would. Maybe chocolate brownie. Yeah. It's gonna alter the chocolate though. It's gonna be a different chocolate profile. I feel like the AP in in FA cookie is gonna help the creams too. Let's just go FA cookie. There's it's no like, reason that we need to. Too, I think. Cookie. Yeah, it's more neutral. I feel like you can find out what else is going on there. <clears throat> and and the more fucking the more the more chocolates we add to this, the more fucking gunk it's gonna do to our coils. So what chocolates are being added? Well, if we added brownie, we're already doing six percent real flavors, deep fried cookies and cream, which is right. darker than death. Yeah, I don't think we need to add any chocolates at first unless it yeah. needs it. And then for the for the for the milkshake base, just flavor wise sweet cream and flavor wise yogurt then? Mm-hmm. And cheese or vanilla for the frosting. Oh yeah. All right, you ready to talk about percentages you're feeling? Okay. Like 20% real flavors, cookies and cream? <laughs> at least. Well, All right, let's do – let's start at six. We can always just fucking drop it in the bottle if we – Right. Start at five. I All right, start throw, at five. Throw flavors out and see what Alfred's face does. That's why I try and figure if it's a good one or not. Okay. And then I was thinking like half a percent cookie, FA cookie probably. You can go higher. You do one. like – yeah, one. But it's 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 gonna make the the chocolate a little more like an Oreo. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then different. we're gonna throw in lots of fucking creams. So you want the texture to stand up to it. All right. So so, so we got real flavors, uh, cookies and cream, deep fried cookies and cream at five. FA cookie at one. Uh, what about the yogurt? I'm I'm thinking like around three to four percent. I do three percent. Yeah, three I was first. thinking three. And the uh, the sweet cream flavor of sweet cream probably like two. Maybe even one. And we're probably going to add the shisha vanilla around 1%. All right, first we're going to use uh, FA cookie. We're going to use it at 1%. Next, we have Real Flavors Deep Fried Cookies and Cream Super Concentrate at 5%. Next, we're adding Inawara Shisha Vanilla. We're going to use it at 1%. We're adding uh, Flavor West Sweet Cream at 1%. That's going to be part of our uh, shake base. And lastly, we're going to use Flavor West Yogurt. We're going to use it at 3%. I mean, yeah, well, they're off the charts with this one. I should. Yeah, get boy, it. that's good. Fuck, it's like it's like TPA movie theater butter. Yeah, this is a this is a butter cookie with a little, with some cream. Yeah, it's got way too much butter in it. Like if you added more cookie, you'd have a really fucking good Oreo though. Is it too chocolatey? I get that deep, like decent uh, chocolate note that is like in an Oreo though. Like not, it's more of the cocoa. What about one on one O's cookie? Yeah, I agree. I think that's the way to go. So, what do y'all think about the milkshake part? I don't think I it's think, milkshake. I think we fucked up with the with the yogurt. I think the yogurt is where it needs to be dropped. Yeah, I think let's, liquid let's, barn, vanilla ice barn. cream. The way I build an Oreo cookie that seems to work pretty pretty good is you take FA cookie. You take something like a Bavarian cream, some sort of Bavarian cream, and then a chocolate. With the shake part, vanilla bean ice cream, liquid barn. The, we do FA cookie one-on-one, O's cookie, Bavarian cream, liquid barn, vanilla ice cream. Okay, so so for the second version, we're going to use one-on-one, O's cookie. Hell fucking yeah. And what did y'all think about the Bavarian cream idea? Which one? We could oh, use oh. FA or we could use um, TFA. Mm. FA is right nice. All right, so cookie base, uh, FA cookie, what we're going to use that at? One? Yeah, I still think one's right. And the um, the, oh. O's, the O's cookie, what percent you think? Three feels right in my my brain. Yeah, that's that sounds about right, too. And we decided to go with uh, FA Bavarian cream. So, And then uh, we're going to use um, – Liquid Barn. Wait, how much for the Bavarian cream? Did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I wouldn't go like, but maybe 0.75. Okay. The Liquid Barn uh, vanilla ice cream. It mutes flavors when it when it's high, but it's it doesn't. I haven't gotten the buttery a buttery note from it like you guys are getting from this first one. Yeah. It might it um, might mute the flavors, so you might need to pump the other flavors up a little bit, but it won't mute. Right. It won't, uh, what do you think? Like four? Yeah, I like it around four. Okay, we're uh, we're we're gonna use the shisha vanilla in this. Not with the Bavarian cream. All right, so uh, just F.A. Cookie, one-on-one O's Cookie, F.A. Bavarian Cream, and Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream. Okay, so we're going to use uh, Flavor Art Bavarian Cream at 0.75%. We're going to use uh, Flavor Art Cookie at 1%. We're going to use uh, 101 O's Cookie at 3%. And we're going to add Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream at 4%. This is the size bottle that you need to buy, that you need to buy from Liquid Barn Ice Cream. Missing the chocolate. I like the chocolate that I got from the first one. From I really, I really want to use both. Yeah, I think both. I think even like two percent of this uh, real flavor. I, I think the Bavarian cream is adding to the Oreo cookie. I just don't you think that Oreo cookie is quite right in it. Do you, you think it we less... added like two percent real flavors to that? Uh, just the regular cookies and cream. Even the deep fried. I think it was the flavor West doing a lot. All right. Hey, we can we can try, try it out. Yeah, yeah. And I think not that high. Like we used it at five percent, so I get why it would be overpowering, but down lower two percent, I think. Okay, what do you think about the um, the Bavarian cream? I love it. I, I love the ice cream base. Like I think it's perfect. The liquid bar vanilla ice cream with Bavarian cream. Okay, so we're we're keeping this second version like it is, but then just add two percent of real flavors, cookies and cream. Okay, so this is uh, version three. We're just going to tweak it just a little bit. We're going to keep um, the F.A. Bavarian Cream at 0.75%, F.A. Cookie at 1%, 101 O's Cookie at 3%, Liquid Barn Vanilla Ice Cream at 4%, and we're going to add 2% of Real Flavors Cookies and Cream. Solid it, nine out of ten, babe. It's so weird how like they really do complete each other. Yeah, it's the perfect Oreo. You just smell the oh, two. <laughs> They're really like close in color to the in the bottle. Only. Wow, that yeah, really did change okay. it. Yeah. That changed it. That changed it. Okay, so this is this is just my personal preference. If it were me, I would add 0.25, maybe 0.5 percent sweetener. That's just me. Which well, it's I'm, not you. It's a recipe. I don't not think folk, not folk art. <laughs> all right. But now nah, this is this is this is fucking delicious. Boy, that cookie's like right in your face. Yeah. So so version three, version three, uh, we added the real flavors, deep fried cookies and cream, and it seemed to work better than the real flavors cookies and cream. I am more than happy about this. Fucking oh, yeah. yeah I, I tell you, that, that Bavarian cream just does something to that. Yes, it cookie. does. 